Hey everyone, we're back for another episode of It Starts With Plastic Free. Glad you could join us. Corey, how you doing? Feeling good, mate. Feeling good? Feeling we're good. talk about one of these today. Yes. And um, you're going to explain to us that there's a lot more in this than just some tea leaves, which was a little bit alarming for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. So my wife actually made me aware of this. Um, so I'll just refer to a study initially. <coughs> this, what I always thought was just a paper tea bag, actually very commonly has plastic in it. Quite surprising. Yeah, and I've got to say, I've had some sort of suspicion. When you brought that up, I thought I've had that back of the mind suspicion, but yeah, yeah it's concerning when you, when, you, when you say it like that. So plastic, how yeah. much plastic? Well, that's what's it's more concerning. Oh, it's two reasons it's concerning. One is end of life, but first of all, what happens to it when we pour 95 degree water on it? Um, and yeah. we know from the plastic bottles that when hot, there's a lot of microplastics heavy. in in a plastic water bottle, yep. but when it gets hot and it's exposed to sunlight, that number increases. Mm -hmm. um, and we're talking probably Boil, boiling water, 40 yeah. degrees there. This is 95 degrees that we pour onto a tea bag. So yeah, Canadian researchers found that some plastic tea bags release very high numbers of microplastics into the water. Um, as we know, we're trying to minimise our intake of microplastics and remove them from our home, which we talk about a bit. Um, in this study, it was a bit of a limited study, but they, they bought four different commercial tea bags that were packaged in plastic, like this one here, not that we would know. Um, mo some tea bags are made from paper, but they use plastic to seal around the edges, apparently. Um, and the premium ones, interestingly, and I think they mentioned some of the um, those pyramid shaped ones, seem to have more plastic in them. So you're getting charged more for more plastic. You do, yeah, <laughs> that, that's the logic. Uh, so one single plastic tea bag, when dosed with 95 degrees water, released 11.6 billion microplastics and 3.1 billion nanoplastic particles into hot water. Isn't that amazing? On that, I was just on a plane recently. Interesting, I was watching who the tea drinkers were and who the coffee drinkers were, yeah. and the tea bags were coming through, and then I thought, wow, all those tea bags on a plane. Then think about all that globally. Yes. Offices and in yep. the UK where all the big tea drinkers are, and unlike where we go to Asia, where um, it's tea leaves, yes. that they just throw the tea leaves in your yep. cup and no plastics in that. And Absolutely. Let the tea leaves sink to the bottom. Yeah. Um, but that's a real concern for two things for me. One, obviously the health factor, microplastics, because mm -hmm. tea drinkers that, you know, if you like your tea strong, you don't keep the same bag, you, you yep. turn it over. The waste though, like everybody thinks that these can go into a green compost, Absolutely. Bin, but they can't. Yeah. So, because what I mean, you've got to really tip it, rip it open, get the leaves out, which no one's going to do. Yeah. Um, so that there's an, there's an environmental issue here. Yes, I'm sure. Un, you know, unwittingly, a lot of people are throwing them into their um, home green bin, and yeah, they're putting plastic in the bin. So I buy organic. You know, it was funny. I, I look at the packaging, and go, okay, these organic tea leaves and then without even thinking am i looking for is there any plastic in the tea bag and probably like you said you're paying a premium for these exotic tea leaves yeah not knowing that the bags are still plastic so what is it that we should be looking for on the packaging well i think my understanding certainly there's a brand south of adelaide called wildfire organic tea and they promote themselves as a, having a plastic free tea bag good um Another brand, a pretty large brand, Nature's Cup of Organic. So I think yep. you just need to look for plastic free or, or I don't know. actually it's an interesting question. I don't know whether if you say organic, does that actually mean it's plastic free? But I would look for plastic free on the packaging. Mm. Uh, and or go back to, as you said, the old method and brew a pot of tea with tea leaves. Well, maybe people need to start questioning their uh, their tea supplier or their manufacturer or their retailer and going, hey, are these plastic free? Because again, what we don't know, um, we don't know. And so if we actually ask the question, we'll eliminate the plastics. But you know, we're pretty passionate, not just about the environmental side, but microplastics ingested. Yes. I mean, how much of those, I mean, 11 billion particles, nanoparticles yep. of plastic 
yeah. internally is a concern. Yeah, they're invisible to the naked eye, but um, we know that a lot of the chemicals used to make plastic are harmful to human health. They haven't. They still don't understand are micro microplastics harmful to human health, or do they just pass through the body? But as we always say, I reckon minimise them in your life and you'll be better off, surely. So tea leaves, so yeah, in that there's more to what is in that uh, inside that bag and you want to be, be beware of it, ask a question, check on the packaging. If you've got any questions, fire them away. Uh, don't forget to share and engage on this one. Give us a like if you liked it. And the, we'll give you a shout out to those brands of the plastic free bags. If you've got any more of them, please pass me away because we'll definitely uh, let the community know that there are plastic free tea bags out there. Until the next episode of It Starts With Plastic Free, we'll see you then.